Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here on this Monday. Let's talk some mountain weather, and I have very good news. As expected, it is a big powder day up there in the Wasatch. So this is Alta, and this, I mean, this stands right out. 18 inches in the last 24 hours, and you still have some accumulation yet to go. Storm total 19. Let's see what the, uh, oh, and finally, finally cracking the century mark. I mean, it has taken so long by Alta standards to do something that is is should be pretty easy to do. Um, let's look at some of these cameras. So, I'm, yep, they already cleared the stake once, but look at the heavy snow coming down there. At Mount Superior, that view typically of Mount Superior, that is uh, that is awesome snow. Here's radar across the west. A couple of things to mention. So we've got a good trajectory of moisture pushing this wave and aura graphics into the interior. So you've got snow happening, Tetons, Wasatch, and of course snow back here. Notice how the pattern has shifted north of Mammoth now. So all the moisture is up here at Tahoe North. It's drier to the south of that over Mammoth, and that's the way it's going to stay for a long, long time. I don't have anything much going on at Mammoth for a long time. Uh, there's a little bit of snow moving into Colorado as well. Let me show you that. It's very, very light at this point. You can see some of the light blue returns. Now, I do think it'll ramp up just a little bit more than this in Colorado. I do think we'll see light to moderate accumulations today in Colorado. A lot of that's going to be across the western slope, but um, yeah, I think we'll see a little more blue as the day wears on. I really want to talk about this. This just absolutely blows me away. Um, it paints the picture as to how low, low tide this season has been. 55 inches. Grand total so far this entire season at Vail. That's it. That's it. 55 inches. We are feet behind where we need to be right now. There's so much terrain that is not open in Colorado at Vail. Um, and 55 inches, where does that stack? So right now, when you look at that snowpack at Vail Mountain, it's the second worst on record. Second lowest on record, only behind 2018 to this point. When you look at the entire basin, the Colorado River Basin, it is the worst. Look at the black line. It is below the red, which is the minimum for the 30-year period, and or at least as far as records have been kept. So for the basin overall, this is the lowest that we've that we've seen on record. For Vail Mountain, it's the second. Either way you slice it, uh, we're in trouble uh, because to make this up will require an extraordinary change in the atmosphere. I mean, we would have to blow everything out of the atmosphere and completely start over with something completely different with back-to-back-to-back-to-back storm systems. Um, that's not going to happen in the next 15 days, I can tell you that. So that's where we stand. All right, let me show you uh, satellite. <clears throat> so this is water vapor. What do we have right now? Well, you've got moisture moving in. You've got a big dip in the uh, the pattern over um, the Pacific. So eventually, this is what's going to slide through. We have one storm now happening. The second piece of this, the second storm system, is essentially the trough itself, the dip in the jet. And that will come through one, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then after that, guys, it's all high pressure across the West. Um, and I'll show you those atmospheric pressure anomalies coming up. Here are my bullet points. <clears throat> Two storms, one happening now, one after it. Then we're into high pressure, 110 through 115. Talked about Vail. There's your 15-day snow. It's basically done at Mammoth. Vail's got about 14. Now, when you think about that, we're at 55 inches at Vail. You add another 14 to that. Do we crack 70 inches by the end of January for a grand total or a season total so far? It's going to be tight. Snowmass 20 on the way. Park City's got another 10. Alta's got another 20 in the next 15 days. Here are your best odds of snow, Colorado, Tahoe, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and interior BC. So for example, Colorado today, light to moderate accumulations. Light afternoon, evening, 1-7. One, 1-8 one, into the morning of 1-9, light to moderate. And then that's it for quite a while. Utah, today, you still have light to moderate to go this morning. Additional. And then PM 1-7 into the morning of 1-8, another shot of moderate accumulations. And then we're done for a while. Let me show you the forecast uh, radar real quick. 
So let me back this up to the start. All right, so this is 11 a.m. Mountain Standard today. Today, January 5th. There's your snow. Notice how it does increase in intensity a little bit over Colorado. Uh, and then you've got your wave back there over the West Coast. All right, I'm gonna move this ahead. There's 5 p.m. There's 5 a.m. tomorrow. 5 p.m. Mountain Standard tomorrow. There's 5 a.m. Wednesday Mountain Standard. Here comes our next storm. So this is 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Wednesday, January 7th. There's our next area of low pressure. It's coming in from this direction and will be spilling down, rotating down into the Rockies, into the central Rockies, even southern Rockies. So snow on the increase in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and even New Mexico. All right, let's go ahead. <clears throat> Here's 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Thursday. There's 11 a.m. So you've got, this is again the final piece. This is only on the 8th. So we probably have another day of this snow on the 9th. And then the whole thing will be done and moving away. At, uh, this is a um, time height. <clears throat> so this is Aspen Mountain, ski area. Um, two, two storms, and you can see them. This is a three day forecast. That's where we start. That's where we end by three days out. You're looking at a slice through the atmosphere. So that's our current storm. There's the final one. The second one's bigger. I mean, you can see there's more green to it. And the conveyor belt, the moisture belt lifting mechanism appears to be more substantial on the second one. Um, so we've got a couple more. I'm not expecting blockbuster snows, but I know some places could reach a foot when you look at the totals from both of these storms like Pitkin County, like Aspen Snowmass. Um, let's look at the atmospheric pressure anomalies. So this is Wednesday, 1-7. Here's the action over here, the drop in pressure. So this is the second storm system, essentially, This with all of this cold air. And that's the one that's going to drop in, 1-7-8-9. This is 1-9. This, this is in the heart of it. You can see the axis of the trough, the dip right here. That'll come through with colder air and a much better chance of snow. So this is 114 looking way out there just to prove that indeed this is a massive high pressure dome. That would mean warmer and drier weather. That's not what we want to see. That's not what we need, but that's the reality of the situation. Does AI agree with that? It absolutely does. This is 114. Look at it. That should read high pressure right there. Let me clear that. So that's your high pressure on AI and that's your high pressure on the operational. Guys, it's so similar. The agreements there. I'll track that every day though to see how it's looking because this is really critical. Um, here's nine day total precip. Keep in mind most of this falls over the next three days. Four days. The next four days. And then beyond it we dry out. So in the next four days the bulk of what you see here falls. This is all as if it fell as rain. Here's 10 to 1 snow, deep purple is at least 6 inches, bright pink is at least a foot, and the white is at least 2 feet. So what do I see? I see potentially still heavy snow remaining, maybe up to a foot over the Wasatch, Little and Big Cottonwood, maybe up to a foot there over western Colorado, the Tetons. Uh, still excellent snow through Idaho, northwest Montana, over 2 feet well over two feet in the Pacific Northwest in BC. And potentially some heavy snow remaining just north of Tahoe through Shasta up into uh, parts of the volcanoes and cascades of the Pacific Northwest. <clears throat> Let's look at the Southwest. So total precip nine days. Again, most of this happens in the next four days. So we're gonna have snow over uh, the Snow Bowl, Bryan Head, and yes, even in New Mexico. Um, here's my forecast. We'll do this in two phases. I'm going to take you way out there, but this is just to get us through the end of this storm cycle. So today through 1-9, totals, grand totals by the end of 1-9, essentially. So what I've got is, notice, in California, maybe another inch at Mammoth, everything else is north. And really good totals up here in the Pacific Northwest. Look at that, two to maybe three, four feet. Love seeing that. Uh, let's talk the Wasatch. So maybe another six, 
Snow Basin, Powder Mountain, Park City, Deer Valley, but potentially 10 to 12 of additional accumulations between the current storm and the final storm. Alta Snowbird Solitude in Brighton. Brian Head, a little bit Snowball. Look at Western Colorado, you see this purple shade. That's where most of the, or the biggest numbers will be. But generally, I mean, this isn't terrible. It's a two storm total right here, but six to 12? Okay, it's better than nothing. Um, quite a spread down here in New Mexico, depending on how that final low moves through. Um, we'll see, those numbers I'm sure will change. But at least a foot up here in the Tetons. Excellent numbers through Idaho, north of Sun Valley. Good numbers, especially through interior BC. Um, and we talked about the Pacific Northwest. So that's just through 1.9. Watch the transition. High pressure. Do you see that? I mean, everything just totally dries out. And the storm track shifts big time up into Canada and Alaska. Very dry with high pressure across the West, 110 to 113. So there you go, first period, then high pressure. Let's look at the Northeast. So we've got, looks like two, three clippers, four clippers, somewhere in there. You've got a little bit of lake effect, not a ton. Some decent storm snow up here of at least six inches in the deep purple, close to a foot. Let's see what I'm forecasting here. So I've got, these are totals by the end of 113. Yeah, I've got a foot at JP, Tremblant, everybody else is less, but 10, kind of up here through Snow Ridge, Whiteface, and Stowe, and then 4, 5, 6 through the southern uh, tier. That, again, takes us through 113. All right, let's look at the next, uh, well, let's look at the end of the storm cycle here. So we've got two storms that will produce these numbers, 1, 5 through 1, 9. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.